Hey guys, I'm LB, and it's been a couple days. I was not looking forward to coming back to this because I was so frustrated by it, but I have changed my controls. I now have red on my middle mouse button and blue on shift. So now I can hold shift and then I can just press middle mouse when I want to turn red. When I let go of middle mouse, it turns blue again. And for me, I'm hoping this will be much easier, because now I don't have to worry about pressing Q and E when I'm running around. I can- I can do this easily while running around. I can teleport still. So, hopefully this will be better. I have been struggling with the controls in this game for so long, the last few episodes here. So let's get this started. Let's see. Gotta get this switch. Come on. That switch. Don't teleport into those things. There we go. And then he chases me. I guess... not really sure why. <laughs> Cause then he just goes back inside here again, and I can't even pick up the gun that he's using. Okay, so now we want to be blue. these guys, because they'll turn you red and attract the blues right to me. What the heck? Why didn't that one avoid me? Ugh. Uh, that's why I didn't want to have to deal with this again. Come on, dude. Okay. There we go. Basically murdered himself there. Okay. Now we're on to the blue phase. Come on. And then, I think for these things to avoid me, I don't want to teleport. There we go. Ah, man, I touched it. I keep doing that, like, it's- it's really hard. This is much harder than it looks. Actually, it's probably as hard as it looks. But I'm struggling with it. I am not enthusiastic about it, because I have not been enjoying this game so far. Let me make it perfectly clear that platformers are not my type of game. I do not enjoy platformers, and this game seems to be hugely focusing on that. I also do not enjoy Bullet Hell, which is basically this boss battle in a nutshell. Okay, let's try this again. I like how it's in time with the music, though. That's cool. Come on. So now, all I need is for him to basically murder himself. There we go, that's good enough. Himself, please. Maybe. There we go. And now it's going to be alternating red and blue next, right? Yeah, alternating now. Ah, oh, man, I probably should not be holding any color when I'm doing that part. Okay, I'm getting better at this part. Come back here, dude. Thank you. Okay, now we try with blue. Man, I am getting better at that. There we go. Burgers himself. Now we just turn off. Leave the cloak on, though. And get him to come back down here. And... Look at 
that do? Oh! Finally, I beat this boss! Oh my goodness, I just had to take it... methodically. Changing the controls helped a lot, I think. Cause I wasn't panicking with controls. So, we can't go... left. So I guess the game wants us to go... down? Let's... Okay, that didn't do anything. So uh, yeah, I guess the game wants us to go down. Is this a theater we've seen before? I don't think so. Yeah, I think this is new. I've always been confused about how buildings made of rocks burn. I guess it's just all the wooden objects inside. Oh no! Wait, he's over there now? What's- what's he doing? Okay, uh... Interesting. So, where are we on the map? Huh. Haven't we been here, though? Oh, apparently not. Come on, let me- let's speed this up a little bit, shall we? There we go. What's up at the top here? Is there another barrier? Yeah, okay. Wait, what's over here? Oh, never mind, okay. So, this is where we just were. Oh my goodness. Pressed the wrong key. There's way too many keys in this game for me to be comfortable with. I think I see what's going on here. Wow, this is a cool mechanic. Haha! <laughs> calm after the storm. I'm glad I decided to continue playing this game. It's always fun to be in giant hamster balls, you know? You know, this is kind of familiar. I think I did see a speedrun of this game. Probably for awesome games done quick or something like that. Okay, what's coming up next? Whoa! Okay. I'm guessing it's getting harder, right? Oh no 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 no, wrong key. I wanted to, uh... Let's try this one more time. Is that... is that not it? Maybe this was the right key. The right color. 
Ah, oh, yeah, it was. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. Interesting. I guess now is when I'm gonna have to shift colors, right? Yeah! There we go. And... Now we do red. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> oh, no, no, that was the right color. Let's, uh, go back, and then... Yeah, that's what we're doing. Okay, good. So now we do this. Climb along your top. Go along the bottom. Top. And... Cool. I like that. That was a fun section of the game. Nice, relaxing diversion from that frustrating boss battle. Man, look at this art, though. It's like, those cans of food make it look like somebody's been living here. Oh, that was a sudden camera change. Whoa! This looks like a big room, apparently. There's stuff up above me as well. <laughs> well, I can't quite reach it yet, so... Guess I should have been doing this the whole time. Oh, here we go. This is where I can reach it. <laughs> Why didn't I grab that? Oh well. Not tilt? Interesting. Ah, oh, are you serious? This is one of the reasons I don't like platformers, is because if you mess up a jump like that, you have to go all the way back. I'm not a fan of platformers, parkour, bullet hill, stuff like that. I mostly just like puzzle games. Like, you know, Portal, The Witness, uh... What's the other one? I forgot already. <laughs> uh, oh well. Vessel. Vessel is another one, but of course, couldn't even upload it to show you guys. Okay, I'm clearly doing something wrong there, and I don't know what it is. Oh, you know what? I'm an idiot. Yeah... Okay, so now... Yeah... Well, at least I can do something now. So... <laughs> I guess I should have realized that sooner, though. I can even make the jumps anymore now that they're further apart. Oh, survey says yes. Okay. What? I should have totally grabbed that ledge. Come on. Sometimes he doesn't want to let go of a ledge, and other times he doesn't even want to grab it in the first place. I do find it strange that the magnets don't rotate. Like, why? Why can they move left and right, but they're not rotating? Must be a limitation of the engine. Or maybe it's just to make it so that they're easier to stand on? I don't know, could be both. Let's just try a normal jump. Nope, okay, normal jump doesn't cut it. It's gotta be a magnet boosted jump. So close. Yep, 
Yeah, I don't think you can actually grab the ledges on these. I think I just have to land on top. Oh man, that was my own fault. The thing I like about puzzle games is that typically, once you know what to do, it's really easy to, to do it, and the hard part is just figuring it out. But with platformer games, it's really easy to figure out what to do, and the hard part is actually doing it. And it's a completely opposite way of doing things, and, you know, you could understand why people would like one more than the other. There's a lot of people who don't like puzzle games. Ah, there we go. And, uh, yeah, I'm one of the people who does like puzzle games that doesn't like platformers that much. But, I've decided to finish them started, because this- I looked on Steam, and the reviews for this game are very, you know, good. They- a lot of people love this game. Okay. So now, just do that. Yeah. Wait a minute. Do I want to go to the right or the left? Uh, how about we don't go there yet? Is there anything over to the right here? Nope, I guess not. I mean, there might be a secret up there, but I don't really see anything that looks like it. I think that I just screwed myself over and have to do this all again. But yeah, the reviews on Steam, I did check them, and they are positive. So it's a very highly rated game, but... Not for me, so... I'm not leaving a negative review, that's like a stupid thing to do, like, just because you don't like a game doesn't mean that nobody will. Uh... Cloak off, please. And, uh, it always bothers me when people review a game based on their own preferences rather, the prefer rather than the preferences of people who will actually like that type of game. Like with, uh, Antichamber and The Witness both have this problem where a lot of people don't like puzzle games, and a lot of people were told to play that game. Because they don't like puzzle games, they left negative reviews. Don't do that! The games are good, it's just that you don't like puzzle games. That's not how reviews are supposed to be used. Okay, cloak on... Oh man, I forgot to... forgot to turn red. But yeah, it just kinda bothers me that people don't always realize that reviews are not entirely supposed to be about their opinion, it's supposed to be about you know, would somebody who likes this type of game actually enjoy it? Is it worth buying if you enjoy this type of game? So yeah, the reviews on this game are actually... Oh, I keep messing up. The reviews on this game are actually pretty good about that. They, uh, they're all about, you know, if you like this type of game, you'll really enjoy it, you know? That's how reviews are supposed to be. And with, uh, games like... The, uh, The Witness and Antichamber, those blow up, because the people who like them are very vocal about the fact that they like the game, and then they try to get other people to play it who don't like the game, and it just causes backfire, or whatever. It, it, yeah, I see that all the time. Let's see... Ha, huh, timing is wrong. Oh yeah, I also wanted to talk about Firewatch. I was seriously considering getting that game, or pre-ordering it even, but I made the smart decision of holding off, and what do you know, I watched a playthrough of it, and was severely disappointed. I felt lied to. There is a trailer for that game, which is entirely dialogue that isn't even in the game, and it had me expecting a completely different experience. It's just mind-blowing that they would lie to customers like that. They- they lied in the trailers, they lied in the game's description, and this- although the story was okay, it was not what I expected at all. So, it's a good game, don't get me wrong, Firewatch is a good game, and the story is decent, it's just disappointing at the end, because it's not at all what you were expecting, and yeah. It's not what they advertised. And that's really unfortunate. I don't- I- cause I would- I would get the game if they had advertised it for what it actually was. But since they advertised it in a way that was... lying, basically? I am not going to support that behavior. I do not condone lying to get people to buy your game. <sighs> Let me 
me try this one more time. Oh my gosh. Alright, well. I'll do it between episodes, since it's, it's time for the episode to close. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one, where I will be across that jump. Goodbye.